I saw how you opened the show now with the tribute to Charlie, your late drummer. Mm -hmm. And I yes. found it fascinating what you did. Before you guys come on, there's big screens and you see Charlie up there. But it's funny, what you chose to show of Charlie drumming is a very mm -hmm. sort of steady beat. It wasn't yeah. his fanciest fill. It no. wasn't some exactly. uh, crazy drum solo. It really said this is the guy who was the heartbeat of our band. He yeah. kept pace, right? That's that's the point of what you're doing mm -hmm. uh, during yeah. the tour. It's, it's yeah. a heartbeat, you know. I just want to say to you all that it's really quite emotional seeing those seeing those pictures of Charlie up on the screen. I mean, Charlie was a heartbeat for the band, you know, and also a very steady personality. You know, it's very. Um, reliable person you know wasn't a diva you know that's the last thing you want in a drummer <laughs> right <laughs> look so uh charlie was a very subtle drummer and he, he you know it was everyone says it what charlie was love was jazz yeah, he loved jazz he did love jazz and 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 that gave him the subtlety uh that perhaps that he wouldn't have had if he hadn't been such a student and and also played jazz a lot but you know he was a rock drummer as well you know he was a he was a steady rock drummer he wasn't just a jazz drummer showing off or trying to be too technical and also was very had a very sort of dry sense of humor and and um you know he was a wonderful guy to play with but i mean we you know i miss charlie because you know he had a great sense of humor and and we we also were outside of the band you know we used to hang out quite a lot and have interesting times going we, we like sports we go to football we go to cricket games and we would have other interests apart from just music um and um, but you know of course i'm you know really miss charlie so much um you know being up there playing and and every time we get together now and rehearse we always think Oh yeah, and Charlie would say this, and uh, then he would do that, and then he would. I mean, he was he was a very quirky guy, and um, you know we we really miss him. But you know we did so many shows with him, and and so many tours with him, and so many recording sessions. It's it's uh, you know strange being without him. But when he was sick, he said, "Well, you know, you've got to just carry on and do this tour. You know, you don't don't stop because of me." So, so we did. This is our first tour that we've ever done without him. So uh, I think all the stuff and reaction, the reaction from you guys and all the things that you've said and we've heard from you has been really touching. And I want to thank you very much for all your wishes. And we all miss Charlie so much uh, on, on the stage and, and off the stage. And, and we'd like to dedicate this tour to Charlie. So. It's to you, Charlie! 